So now let's say that we want to add effects, because on here it says verse 1. 1. On the third day, a wedding to... Okay, and there's crowd people and stuff like that. So first you have to get your sound effects from the internet or something like that. And now you need to import it. So we go to File. We want to import audio. It already set up so it goes to my music and effects. I'm there. And so I'm going to click on that. And it's crowd people talking. I'm going to bring it in. Okay, I want to move my labels down so they're out of the way. And so I'm going to take it, move track, and move it down so they're out of the way. And this, we only need a mono. We don't need a stereo. So I'm going to go here and File. And I'm going to Split to Mono. And I'm going to just get rid of one of them. So now I can just remember it was right around here. Okay. It's really hard for me to hear. And so I'm going to take it. I'm going to slide it out of the way and figure out where I'm supposed to be adding it again. I didn't want to put a label marker. One. On okay. So right here is where I want to put it. So I'm going to grab this guy and line him up right around there. And I'm going to hold the scroll and I'm going to move in. Control button. I'm going to, and so I want to move it over a little bit more. So the crowd starts in a little bit early. So when I start playing it now, you take it and we're going to start playing. One. On the third day, to wow. I can't even hear anything. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to change the volume. This doesn't change the waveform over here. You don't see any change, but it will bring the whole track's volume down. I'm going to bring it way down to about negative 17, 18, because that's quite loud. I want to make sure that you can hear the narration. The effect is just to help, not to overrun. One. On the third day, a wedding took place. It's still a little bit loud. I'm going to bring it down even more, about negative 22. One. On the third day, a wedding took place. In okay, we like that. And let's say that we go along, and we want it to end right about um, here. And so at the end of the verse, it's not a logical place in this script, but for our sake, we want to do it here. So we can take it, and we can just basically go and highlight to the end. And hit the delete. And that deleted it. But we don't want our sound effect to just quit. To the wedding. When the wine was... That's kind of weird. So the thing that we're going to do is a lot of times you want to... Where do we kind of want to stop? We're going to fade it out. So we're going to go here. We're going to highlight from here to there. And then we're going to go to effects. And we're going to go to fade out. And it fades it out. If I play it... Invited to the wedding. When the wine... I really didn't like how it was done, so I'm Control z and I want it to fade out slower. So I'm going to go here, and I'm going to go out to here, and then we're going to do Effects, Fade Out. And so now, let's see how it sounds. Had been invited to the wedding. When the wine was gone... So, yeah, we like that, how it faded out. And so I just added an effect here, so when this plays, that effect will be in there. And you can drop in other effects, and if you want to put in other things, you can do multiple tracks. So that's adding an effect.